All right, I have y is equal to x squared, and I want to find the derivative of y using this definition for the derivative. The limit as h goes to 0, f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So let's do that. So um, y prime is going to be equal to f prime of x, which is going to be the limit as h goes to 0 of... Okay, I want f of x plus h. Well, f of x is going to be x squared, so f of x plus h is going to be the whole quantity x plus h squared. So this will be x plus h quantity squared minus just f of x, which is x squared, all divided by h. So the mistake I see people making the first few times they do this is instead of x plus h quantity squared, they'll have x squared plus h. But that's not what this says. f of x is equal to x squared. So if I have x plus h inside the parentheses here, when I square it, I have to get x plus h quantity squared. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue to simplify here. The limit as h goes to 0 of, all right, I'll square this, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x squared all over h. So all I'm doing right now is trying to simplify this as much as possible and get it down to something where I can easily look at it and take this limit. All right, so let's just keep going here. Limit as h goes to 0 of, well, let's say I have x squared minus x squared. That's going to be 0. And in these two terms, I have an h. So I'm going to factor that, that h out. And I'll end up with h times 2x plus h all divided by h. So that's x squared subtract x squared is 0. So that, there's no term right there. That adds to 0. Then I have these two terms. Both of them have an h. I factor that outside. I have 2x plus h left here. Now I can divide out those h's. And I end up with the limit as h goes to 0 of 2x plus h. And now, as h goes to 0, this expression right here goes to 2x. So there's my derivative of y equal x squared using the definition of the derivative. So a lot of times in my classes, I'll find that I've had students that had a little calculus in high school, and we're working with the definition of the derivative right in the beginning. And they'll say, well, we know a shortcut. I know how to go right from y equal x squared down to y prime equal 2x. Well, sure you do if you've had a little bit of calculus, but it's still important, very important actually, that you know the definition of the derivative and you can use that definition to go ahead and derive some of these formulas that we have for the derivatives. So this is good practice right here, all good algebra right here, a little simple limit to take, and uh, I actually think it looks pretty nice when you see it on the page. So there's a look at using the definition of the derivative to find an actual derivative.